nature. One of the most dangerous places on earth. That's right, nature's a bloody country. That's the reason I'm here. My name is Ted Bear. And a deer killed my fucking father. I didn't like it, honestly. As a child, that's very traumatizing to me. It shouldn't have happened. Anyway, welcome to Nature Calling. Hi, I'm Ted Bear and welcome to the wild, where today we're going to be hunting not one deer, but all of the fucking deer, because a deer killed my father. That's right, a deer killed my father. Do I need to repeat it one more time? A deer killed my father. That's what it did, and that's why I want to kill more deer. Now, first thing, what you have to do when tracking a deer is is you gotta search for tracks. Now you got. What is it, Karen? No. What, what, what do you mean? I'm in the middle of a show here. No, I can't talk right now. No, shut Listen, I have to go. No. Bye, bye. Anyway, when, when hunting a deer, you always have to remember where the tracks are and where you're going. Now. Alright, sorry, I have to take this. John, what is it? What do you mean Karen is taking the kids? You can get him now. You have to be very sneaky when coming up to the deer. They are extremely intelligent animals, if you didn't know. I don't know how or why God created them just to be hunted. But they're here. And we're going to take them down. One deer at a time. Ah. It seems to spot up the tracks of the white-tailed deer. And it seems to be going this way. The white-tailed deer is the most fierce deer in the wild. Apparently, it got its, it's got its name, the white tail, because it has a white tail. The droppings of the white-tailed deer. Hold on a second. Yes, they're fresh. You have to keep moving. As you can see, the texture, it's very, it's very, uh, it's very, uh, smooth. It's like a uh, small Maltesers, basically, in your mouth. Yeah, so, uh, it's, uh, it's a black-tailed deer, most definitely. Let's keep moving. It's a mating call. Alright, hold on, I'm going to show you something extremely important. This, my friend, is what's going to help us. You fucking pussy! I'll end you! I'm going to rape you! Run! Fucking run! After a few hours of searching, we couldn't find any more deer. Then, when we least expected it, we did it. I was so desperate, I ran to millions of other national parks just to find it. The one deer. I've avenged you, father! No! Don't you dare. No, no, damn it. Even though I didn't kill the deer, that didn't stop me from hunting it. Oh wait, there, there's the body, it's right here. I've done it, I've done it. Ah uh, yes, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you hunt a deer. Hey buddy! 
No half no espanol! I said, get off my lawn! Goddamn fucking Mexicans. Whoa! 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 Hey yo, welcome to my crib. Let me show you around. Let me show you around. This be this be where I sleep right here. It's, it's a nice bed. Uh, this be my poles where I hang up my motivational posters and stuff. Um, this be my working place. This where I look out and uh, you know, sketch some of the trees and stuff. And this be where. I no, no, no! Please, 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 please! <laughs> and I was Ted Bear. And I thank you for watching How to Hunt Deer. Alright, so how do you think that went down? Do you think it's going to go down good with the, with the audience? Yeah, no, we're going to scrap everything. It, this was a waste of time. You were a waste of time. You should just never hunt again. You son of a bitch! You told me I would get famous! Get away! <laughs>